well hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we have an unboxing or an unbagging or an um bubble mailering either way look i already opened it up so i wasn't riding the struggle bus y'all it was it was locked tight like anyways so what we have here is coming to us from uh i think it's called original paint by diamond uh i think i was asked to check oh look a hair tie now i don't have enough hair for a hair tie because i have like a mohawk type haircut but maggie might like that um i think somebody asked me to check them out and i said i would make sure this everything that's in there so i'm checking them out they look like they do have an inventory sheet. Bonus points for that. It is a square. A little hair tie. We're going to... We're just going to put that off to the side. Uh, the toolkit. You get a couple of baggies, a plate of wax, a white boat with a funnel, a pair of cheapo tweezers, and a pink pen. Y'all don't care about that. We're going to put the drills off to the side here, and we're going to take a look at the canvas. It is held together with rubber bands. I hate rubber bands. They just... They just put little indents in your canvas. These didn't seem to make indents. They're the cheapo rubber bands. Um, I ordered this on March 10th. And today when I'm unboxing this is April 9th. Um, which is pretty quick for the fact that there's a pandemic going on and Mel's a little bit delayed. Um, I thought this was another package that I had been waiting on. But apparently that package had gotten delivered to the wrong place. Um, either way, I... I'm going to slowly unroll this. And it does have a foam core on it. We're going to let that relax for a few minutes. We massage it and stuff. Foam core. Now, with double-sided adhesive, I have found in my experimenting that if you recover it once you get it, it is less likely to get bubbles and rivers in it. So, more than likely I will recover this, but I want to take a look at it first. So it's a 40 by 30, and we'll measure it to see if it's measured to size. Now, I don't know if this is paint by diamonds, because it's called original paint by diamond, and it doesn't have an S on the diamonds. And these things do matter, because... Companies like to get names that are close to other popular companies just because they know it'll bring them in business. So I'll have to check on that. But I don't think it's paint by diamonds or paint with diamonds or whatever that company is called. So it is double-sided adhesive. One way you can tell that is that it came with an opaque cover. Um, we're going to pull the cover back. You just want to pull the cover back oh so gently as to not disturb the double-sided adhesive. In editing, Leisha will have a picture come up of what this is supposed to be. Now, this isn't usually something that I would go after, but I really couldn't find anything else on the site that I like, so it was the closest thing. It's just some birdies. I thought it might look nice in the kitchen, might brighten it up a little bit. So as you can see, there are the birdies. And so to recover it, I wrapped some parchment paper around the foam core. And I'm just going to place it where I want it. And then we're just going to roll it. We're just going to roll it. Bam. Alright, so I just recovered it with parchment paper just so it doesn't develop any bubbles or rivets. Um, I can tell you right now it does measure true to size, which is going to be the 40 by 30 because the paper I have is 12 by 16 inches, which is, uh, the size of a 30 by 40 and it fits on it like a glove. Now this bottom part's a little bit off, so we're going to redo this. Where did my form core go? And this is one of those tricks for those folks who don't know that will help you put your foam core or your rewrap your painting the way you want it to be wrapped. 
if you take the foam core, wrap whatever you're rewrapping your painting, take the foam core and wrap it around there, especially if it came with a foam core. Also, don't forget to test it out on a small portion of your kit before you just throw it on your kit because you don't want it to mess up your kit. And just to get it to lay on smooth, you just smooth it on with your foam core. Now, there's a little bit of a lip of it hanging out the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this perfect. I'll ride the struggle buff later. But let's take a look at the drill filled. There's a little bit of color blocking confetti, but it doesn't look too disrespectful. The symbols look pretty good. Mump. It's, it says mump. It would have said pump, but you got to bring that down. Anyways, uh, there's pup. See it, pup. It is super tacky. The drill fill does look nice and clear. Bring it up so you can move it around a little bit. So yeah. So far, so good. I'm going to pause you and ride the struggle bus as I get this on here correctly. Alright, so we finished riding the struggle bus. We got it, the paper on there. And as you can see, there's no damage to it, so it came in good condition. Let's take a look at the drill. Doesn't look to have a lot of colors. Um, it has 38 colors. The symbols look nice and bright, and they look like they're not going to be hard to read. So that's a plus. I don't think this is paint with diamonds, but so far, I really like the quality. And if you missed it, this is what the image is going to look like. Isn't it beautiful? It's just pastel with some birds. Makes me think of uh, Laura Law's Craft Corner and her bird Kevin, or Spasmodic Arts and her bird Smokey and Bandit. Yeah, everybody's got birds. I, I can't do birds, but I'll do a picture of some birds. So we're going to check this like a boss. And when we come back, I'll let you know if I have all the colors and give you some of my final thoughts, you know, all that good stuff. So if you're ready, let's go. So it looks like all the colors are there. The drill quality seems to be pretty good. There are some dimples, but that does not hinder your diamond painting experience. I'm seeing a couple of knobbly bits, which is right here. If you look on that drill, there's an extra piece on the side. It comes from when they cut them out of the mold. Uh, sometimes the mold doesn't get all the extra knobbly bits off the sides. And that is essentially what makes it pop whenever you're doing a diamond painting so that and the drills because the drills are so close together any little bit of of anything on the side of these drills and they'll pop so let's see i'm not seeing any knobbly bits on those so they're not bad drills just a couple of things of trash it seems like they do give you enough though that you could bypass some of those ones with the knobbly bits on them right there you can bypass some of the ones with knobbly bits on them and use the good drill. So you can probably be a little bit extra picky with these. Um, and it seems like you should have enough. I was supposed to have 22 bags of 38.65. And I actually have 23 bags. That goes for number uh, 37.56 as well. I'm supposed to have 24 bags of that and I have 25. So it seems like they give you a good amount of diamonds to finish your kit. At least they did for this one. Um, just off first impressions... The canvas looked great. The symbol quality looks really good. It looks like it's uh, easy to read. Again, we'll take a look at the symbols. Because I don't want to 
skate by anything. Now, this is the part that's going to be trippy here. It's not hard to read, but you have T's and lowercase L's. So it's T L L L T L L L. It kind of looks like Morse code. Little bird head there. But those symbols I can see clear as day, even with the naked eye here, uh, looking at it from like the other side of the camera. I can see that just fine. So the symbol clarity is there. The drill quality, eh, you get a you, you get a three out of five because of the knobbly bits. Because only because I don't see any trash in the drill. There is not like I think this is like the darkest color, which is 890. And I'm not seeing any trash in these drills. They look really clean. They look like good quality drills, minus a couple of tabs on them. Other than that, they look really good. So if you would like to check out this image or any other image on their site, it's Original Paint by Diamond. I paid $29.99 for this. Um, and then there was, of course, $8.95 shipping. I ordered this March 10th, and I actually got this, um, this on the 6th. Today is the 9th that I'm recording this. But I actually got this on April 6th, so it actually didn't take too long to get here. Uh, that's normal processing time for items coming from China. So I have to say, so far, so good. So if you, get, again, if you would like to check out this company, I will link this canvas down below. But with that said, I really must bid you adieu. But if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.